The other pictures are better. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final chapter of the celebration of the 20th year of the Williamsburg Art and Historical Center created by that illustrious lady, Yuko Ni. So please, everybody go get champagne.
Please try some of your words too, to write it, to uh, kind of make the campaign more delicious. Thank you. Okay, here is to the 20th anniversary of the WA Center and the birthdays of Terrence and Hugo in October and also Gloria Schuster, who's happy to have a birthday. Richard. And Richard, yes, I forgot. So this is a happy anniversary, 20th, and happy birthday to all of the birthdays in October. Bless you all. Happy birthday to you, happy go. Happy birthday to you, Jesus. Happy birthday, dear mother. Happy birthday to you. Could I say? Uh, who is this lady Yukomi? You can see the work around you. She is a magnificent artist, a great lady, as I said, and a great mind. And coming from Japan, she came as, as an artist, wanting to see and envision new worlds. And she wanted to experience all of the great culture of the world. And there's only one great city where you can come to experience all the great cultures of the world in one place, and that's New York City. Now, she went to Prague Institute, which is in Brooklyn. And at that time, Brooklyn was not really a great place to live. But Prague was one of the great art schools. And there, she 
began to study and paint and paint. Many of these magnificent paintings you see right now around you, they were painted at Pratt Institute around 1966, 67, 68. And you can see as a young artist, she was brilliant. She was already a master artist when she was studying at Pratt. And remarkably, in the small gallery here, you can see two of the drawings. Now, she wasn't really that interested in drawing, but whatever she put her hand to uh, expresses her intelligence and ability, which is masterful. Those drawings in there are as masterful as any great master artist, Picasso, Matisse, or anybody. But you see in the paintings here is something remarkable. And it's a spirituality. And uh, the landscapes, the light coming from behind, the ephemeral qualities, uh, the vistas, the hope. And uh, in the figure drawings, you can see she understands the human body, the human gesture. This lady, back when she was studying at Pratt, was already a magnificent and master artist. Last year, in 2016, we had a show of her later works, after she had graduated and developed her doom paintings over a period of you know, 20, 30 years. And those are, of course, magnificent too. But here you see the beginning, the foundation of what she became later. And that's only half of what she is. She has also written many essays, philosophy, poetry, and we've actually published a book which is not available right now, but will be available uh, very shortly. And we're going to have a special event for that because she is a brilliant thinker and philosopher. She's affected many of you with emails. And every time she communicates with anybody here, as you know, she treats all of you very specially, as a very special human being, special qualities. That's because she herself is very special. When she was a child, a small child, her mother, in October on her birthday, would lift her up in her arms to the October sky, to look at the October sky. And that you saw the infinite possibilities in that blue October sky. The infinite possibilities of a human being. What they can do in this world. What God or nature has given them. The possibilities. And I think that's part of what her wonderful family, her loving father and mother and sisters gave to her. A belief in the wonder and possibilities of a human life. And so, although her family and the Japanese had to endure through the Second World War, afterward, uh, Yuko, as well as many other people around the world, saw that when the lights go on all over the world, there is new hope and possibility. And Yuko, when she was going to college at Aoyamagaku in Japan, she dreamed of coming to America and seeing more of the world, the possibilities of this vast, wonderful world. And so she did. Her parents were sad to let her go, but they knew that she had something, a dream, and they wanted to make sure, and one of the parents wanted to make sure that she should, could fulfill all the possibilities of her nature. And what you see here, Yuko has built the Williamson Park Historical Center, and she has she did it by acquiring a national landmark building in the United States in what is now one of the greatest neighborhoods in the world where everybody wants to come and live and work. So you see what a human being can do is most aptly expressed in Yuko's life, Yuko's art, and when the book comes out and you read the philosophy, Yuko's thinking and spirit 
It's all reflected in her art, her mind, and this, this beautiful lady. So, in any case, uh, I've said my piece, and uh, that's the uh, enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Hans Lindor is the president of the Mars Center and executive director. And he said something extraordinary about that women. I listened to him. I wonder who that person was. He seemed to know everything about that person. Could you please tell me who that person was talking about? I don't know who that is. All I know is not necessarily genius for anything, but all I did after I opened up this war center, nothing but work hard. Work hard all day, all night. So there was one occasion when I received a word from Prop Institute. Uh, what was this? Um, that is called, I shouldn't forget, I'm very grateful. And <clears throat> I don't mean I'm an outstanding individual. So I have to mention to 200 people, and all I did was working hard, nothing but working hard. So I said, ladies and gentlemen, have you heard the expression, New York never sleeps? Me, you call never sleeps. <laughs> That's all I did. You saw, 1996, 20 years ago, I found it out of very poverty level. level. But thanks to all volunteers, they are here, most of them, they came to help us. And I really appreciate it for those people who have a faith in me to begin with Stan's Lindor too. Lasted this long, and I always believe good people stick to good people. Eventually, those who do not feel like belonging, they just disappeared. Isn't that true? So here you are, you are here. And then I'm very much fond of you, and thank you very much for your great support and a great love. And because of you, the one Center survived for 20 years. 20 years is nothing. New York, well, let's see. India, China, Japan, having long histories, but one Center has 20 years. Well, let's hope we will continue to survive or to flourish. Thank you very, very much for coming over. That was a great 20 years. Thank you.
Scott. Thank you. Anyway. 